Welcome back to the Virtuous Woman Show. And if, in case you're joining us for the first time, we are, I'm seated here with a wonderful woman, Madame Murage, and she's taking us through domestic violence. And right now, Madame Murage, please, how many types of domestic violence do we have? Kuna aina nyingi za domestic violence ama tu niyo tu hiyo ambayo sisi tunajua sana sana wenye tuko nje ile mtu anachapwa ana hiyo ndio tunajua. Ah types of domestic violence are many. You just mentioned a few. Mm. Um as we said uh, the physical part physical violence is what people can see, see yes. physically. Mm. But there is a emotion emotional violence, mm -hmm. psychological violence, kuna intimidation, mm -hmm. kuna abuse, verbal abuse, yeah. kuna sexual violence, mm -hmm. even uh, in marriage, kuna hizo intimate partner violence, there is harassment, mm -hmm. stalking somebody, controlling uh, uh, these people. Then uh, Saigine unaweza kuona mtu kama anakuwa, anakuwa harasti sana. Those are among the few that we have, but kila mtu anakuwa gana zake zingine. Okay. Yeah. Well, Nime kusikio kisema, there is the emotional violence and there is the psychological violence. Yeah, yeah, what, well, uh, those are the ones that are hidden. And what's the difference between, between the emotional and the psychological? Uh, when you say that you are uh, psychologically affected mm -hmm. you are not able to to perform properly the way you can perform normally mm -hmm. when you are psychologically affected but when you are emotionally affected your emotion your emotions changes kama sa hii tunaongea na wewe kianza kuongea habari ya uh, yeah. domestic violence, my emotions change. What we gine at our one idea, we gine one a checker, evil. Now, this was in a ask I read to what we call uh, syndrome, mm -hmm. it goes to stress syndrome. Now, this was syndromes, when I was a quarter of what I make was him, I make one and a stress. Mm -hmm amekuwa na depression okay. because of psychological and emotional violence because they are not seen so it is manifest through that and wa mama wakija kwako ama tuseme wa baba wamekuja kwako are you able to to tell that this one has gone through emotional eh, abuse ama huyu amepitia psychological abuse just by looking at them because na, na, the reason nauliza hiyo ni kwa sababu kuna watu wengine ambao tuko nao manyumbani ama kwa plots na kuna tunawezaje tukajua ya kwamba huyu my neighbor vile ana behave ni kuna kitu ambacho na, 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 na ningependa kumsaidia lakini hayuko sawa because hizo ni zile zimejificha physical tutaona amechapwa amefura macho na alafu tutajua hapa kuna kitu lakini kuna tutawezaje kusaidia wale ambao wako emotionally affected or psychological and na ndio wengi mm. na ndio wengi uh, hawa sasa ingine unapata behavior ya mtu imechange kabisa unapata ni huyu ni mtu mwenye alikuanga jovio mm -hmm. ameanza kujinyamazia tu Unapata ni mtu mwenye alikuwa anapenda kuwa msafi. Mm. Unaona saa hii anaanza kuona usafi hata ni nini kwangu. Mm. Huyu ni mtu mwenye labda alikuwa anajifanyia kazi yake vizuri. Una, una sasa ameanza kuregea sana. Mm. Ama anatrokea kazini. Mm. Ama anatrokea pale kanisani unaona eh siku mm. hizi ama so and so ukisemekana kuki, mahali ya kutengeneza kanisa hapo hapo. Mm. Ukisema kana wapi ako hapo ako hapo ako hapo mm. kuna kitu wa mm. huyo mtu anaanza kutorokea yani behavior yake utaona kabisa kabisa ime change vile okay. alikuwa anga unamjua mm. unaona huyo mtu ameanza kuchange hata karibu na watoto wake ama hata kwenye ako kazini kwenye na mikutanoni unaona huyo mtu si yule ulikuwa unajua 
kuna hiyo ambayo umesema ya kwamba utaweza pata kama ni mama ametorokea kanisani ako kwenye mikutano anasaidia hapa na pale na sisi kama kanisa in case mtu amekuja kwetu madam murage na amechapwa mara ya kwanza amechapwa mara ya pili Ame, yani amekuja for counseling sisi kama kanisa kama wachungaji ungependa kutu advise aje ni vizuri kwa sababu kuna pia tu, hatutaki ku, kuona ku, ku, ku overlook the fact that there is forgiveness in marriage lakini huyu mama amekuwa kichapwa na chapwa kila saa na chapwa sisi kama kanisa unaweza kutu advise tufanyeje number 1 mm. kanisa najua maombi ni mingi mm. na maombi ni mzuri mm. uh, tunajua kwamba kusameheana kuko mm. kusamehe tunasameheana mara ngapi kwa siku 70 times 7 <laughs> eh, kwa kwa siku unataka mm. so as much as kanisa iko na kanisa ina na faith inaweza ku perpetuate gender based violence mm -hmm. kwa sababu ya zile vitu watu wanaamini na zile vitu watu wanafanya mm. So if somebody has been violated there is a law governing all of us na hakuna mtu mmoja yako juu ya mwingine So what happens is that somebody should report in case you have been violated In gender based violence we have physical violence we have emotional violence we have psychological violence we have sexual violence we have our uh, inheritance and all those things mm. which are also in domestic violence you are supposed to report to the, to the authority na ku report ni ku report labda kwa police dio unaweza ku report na hospitali na pia ni vizuri mtu atoke in that abusive uh, relationship or in that abusive situation kama mtu anachapo alafu unamwongelesha unamwambia arudi kuna one time tuliweza unaongelesha mama mpaka mm. tukamtoa that situation kwake tukampeleka mahali pengine amehurumia watoto wake amerudi mm. amechapwa tena akakuja hospitali the third time tuliitwa mazishi of the same person so ni sawa tu mm. omba na yeye okay tunaamini maombi sameheana mm. lakini acha mtu achukue hatua kama atakubali usimuforce. Mm. Mm. So ukiripoti kama ni kwa polisi kuna P3 yenye inajazo. Yenye saigine tunajazanga alafu na unauliza mwanamke, P3 ni ya nini? Ulileta P3 ya nini? Wanaanza kusema ataona nitamstua. Namuuliza unamstua na P3. After yes, kumstua uh, ndio hiyo. Mm. After kumstua so so what? Mm. So what happens is that if you reported mm. I'm talking about the law now. Yeah. Si kwa kanisa, mm. si kwa mchungaji, mm. si kwa familia. Yes. Kwa sababu ya familia is totally different. Mm. Ukikosa ku report case kwa serikali, that is kwa polisi. Ndio at least kwa kuwe na statement, ukuwe na P3. Mm. The next time huyu mtu atakuchapa tena ama atakudhulumu tena. Wende u report. Kama hujawahi kusema na ku, kuwa na kudhulumu. Mm anaweza kusema eh nimeananchapanga kila siku ama mara ngapi mm. where did you report the very first time unajaziwa p3 mm. that one becomes a first offender okay hiyo ndio serikali inajua hiyo ndio mara yako ya kwanza mm. na na sheria haitakuwa ngumu sana kama si grievous harm mm. kwa huyo mtu kama hujawahi kumreport tena Mm. In other words, kidole yake haijawahi kuingia kwa serikali kama yeye mm. ni mtu muharifu. Yeah. So, ni vizuri kama mtu anachukua hatua wacha ingie hata kama ni hiyo black book, mm. huyu mtu ajulikanange mtu ni violent. Pale hospitalini, mm. pale kwa hospi, uh, kwa, kwa, kwa polisi ni maneno ya P3 na, na statement writing. Mm. Lakini kwa hospitali kuna treatment mm. yenye huyu mtu atapata. Kuna counseling yenye huyu mtu taendelea. Yeah. Na, na, na kume, kuna time tume wa, watu nimesikia wame report kwa polisi. Na hiyo kitu ha, i, i, kesi haikuendelea, haikufanya. In such cases whereby huyu mtu amejaribu, amepeleka kwa the right na the, the right office na hatua haijachukuliwa. 
mtu anataka na akafanya nini kweli it depend na hatu wa gani haikuchukuliwa mm -hmm. umeenda kwa polisi mm -hmm. umeandikisha statement yeah. ndio mm -hmm. umesema wewe ndio unasema unajua yule mtu mwingine hayuko yeah. wewe utasema Kenya unataka kusema mm -hmm. na hiyo ndio itaandikwa ukiandikisha statement saa ingine depending on the police officer mwenye utapata anaweza kupatia kitu inaitwa OB number mm -hmm. OB ni karatasi kadogo tu ya kuonyesha ka statement kaliandikwa yeah. somewhere mm -hmm. alafu anakwambia enda hospitali mm -hmm. kama hujapewa P3 ukishaenda hospitali ama saa ile hata polisi amekupatia P3 ita depend wewe una mwenyewe unafanya nini na hiyo karatasi okay ulipoa ubi kwa bwenda hospitali mm. ukitoka hospitali baada ya kurudi kwa polisi uchukue p3 mm. umerudi kuambia mtu unaona nimetoka polisi mm, nimekushtua unaona ni ni nimetaka eh, kuku kukushtua alafu anakuambia hiyo washa maneno hiyo ni nini mm. nikuwa unasema unataka kutengenezwa nywele nini chika pesa mm -hmm. na hapo ndo inaingia hiyo maneno ya kusema Misha. umepewa p3 mm -hmm. ushapewa p3 haujapeleka mm ama umepeleka hmm. pale hospitali hmm. imejazwa umerudi hmm. umeweka hiyo document ama umerudisha polisi ni sawa acha hmm. tuseme kwa mtu mwenye amerudisha polisi mhm mm kesi yako inastakiwa mhm mm polisi wanajua bwanako ama wanajua bibi yako mm -hmm. nani atawaonyesha ni mimi one time very sorry to say that mm. kuna uh, mtu alikuwa amevaurite mtoto wake alikuwa ameshika mtoto wake mdogo yeah. akarara na yeye mm. mtoto wa 3 months alimharibu tukampeleka theta tuka nikajaribu kubebereza mama sana tuweze kushika bwanake is mm. a biological father mm. na tuweza kuleta bwana mpaka kwa kwa ofisi kwa kazini huko mm -hmm. kwa ward na polisi tukaweza kuleta polisi hapo mm -hmm. Tukaambia mama sababu wewe ndio unajua bwanako wewe ndio utamuita mmm tuweze kumshika mm. mama aliita bwana dio na akamwambia ujue yule sister nitakuonyesha huyo sister huyo die analeta polisi oh. kisha muona eh, utoroka jasi sitafanyika aje so wewe mwenyewe ndio utaonyesha mm. polisi nani the abuser mm. doesn't matter whether it is the woman mm. or the man wewe mwenyewe ndio mm. unatakana ujue kwamba utafuatilia kesi yako mm. unaambiwa kesi yako inakuja siku fulani mm. first of all hujasaidiana huyu mtu ashikwe mm. naona hujasaidiana kama kesi yako imeanza mm. utaki hata kwenda kuendelea kuona kesi yako inaenda namna gani mm. umekaa pale comfortably mm. ni just a p3 eh. no. so there are is Mm -hmm. always a reason why mm. kesi haijaendelea chimbua kabisa chimbua kabisa yeah. na, na, na kwa nini man sasa vile umesema kama example ya huyo mama anajua bwana yake amefanya kitu kibaya ni kwa nini mtu akishakuwa na do, through god go, when they go through domestic violence it's hard for them to live kwa nini inakuwa ni ngumu kwa yeye socialization kutoka? socialization as i said mm. and even the traditions believes and all that yeah. is also saying and it is individual mm -hmm. wewe mwenyewe ndio utajua kama utajinasua kwa shida mm -hmm. ama utatolewa kwa shida mm -hmm. na unarudi rudi tu pale mm -hmm. uh, kuna msemo ina kuanga kwamba unaweza kupeleka ngombe mtoni kunywe ma yes. eh, kwa, kwa, kwa mm. maji yeah. lakini ikienda pale isimame tu itaamua <laughs> itaamua kama mm. itakunywa hiyo mm. maji wengine tuna watu wanga kwa shida mm. yeye mwenyewe ndiye atajua kama atarudi pale pale tu kwa kwa, kwa, kwa hiyo mm. shida one time nilisaidia mama mwenye mm. alikuwa na anachapangwa sana mm. sana karibu sasa akue hata mm. kiwete lakini bwana ako na na anajua kusema mm and uh, wakati ni limtoa kwake tukamsaidia mpaka tukampeleka ina save home alijitoa kwa save home akabeberezwa vile tulisema hivyo na akarudi pale nyumbani alienda akaambia bwanake ni huyo huyo sister huyo ndio anafanyaga wanawake watoke kwa manyumba zao una i mean yuko na mkusaidia <laughs> lakini wewe unaniona mimi ndio adui adui mm -hmm. so that is how how the society is unamwambia hivi but you're not telling them to do that. Mm. Wewe yako ni kumwambia na aende afanye hivyo. Okay. So what happened? 
Bona ananipigia simu wewe ndio nasikia unaharibiki nyumba za, za za watu. Next time hata huyo mwanamke akikuja hata nani atakubali kumu. Inakuwa ni ngumu kumsaidia. This has been a very very deep and wonderful and very important subject that we've talked about today, domestic violence. Let me say there are so many people that are going through different kinds of violence in the homes. You could not be knowing but today madam moragi has talked we, the only one that we know is physical whereby we know people if somebody is battered we know that the face is swollen but there is psychological there is emotional the, the economical there is there is even sexual violence that goes on on behind uh, uh, the curtains and behind the homes of the individuals but we want to say this if your friend is going through any kind of abuse please refer them to the correct person that will will take them through counseling and will direct them where to go and report please don't take the matters into your own hands because like mrs uh, madam moragi has said people have lost their lives because of being misguided because of of not getting the right kind of information and where to report. This is the Virtuous Woman Show and we want to end by saying you're a powerful woman. Keep forging forward. Until we meet next time, may the Lord bless you. Bye.